there are some important uh, temperatures that we need to be aware of. Um, two we talked about already freezing point and boiling point of water at atmospheric pressure uh, in addition to the triple point of water. Um, so these are things that we encounter very frequently in uh, experimental physics. Boiling point of uh, helium, uh, liquid helium, is 4.2 Kelvin. Uh, boiling point of uh, hydrogen, liquid hydrogen, boils at 20.3 Kelvin. Uh, again, boiling point of nitrogen, which is uh, readily available in the atmosphere, is 77 uh, Kelvin. When we refer to room temperature, uh, we usually mean something in the range 295 Kelvin to 300 Kelvin. Um, human body temperature is roughly uh, 310 uh, Kelvin. Boiling point of tungsten, which is which has the record boiling point of all elements, is 5,800 uh, Kelvin, and then surface temperature of the sun. is 5,500 uh, Kelvin. These are all listed at a pressure of one atmosphere, uh, except maybe the sun temperature. Now, uh, for the phase transitions from liquid to gas, uh, we call boiling, and solid to liquid, we call uh, melting, melting points. And now if we go back to the number of accessible states dependence on energy and where we have actually uh, defined absolute temperature. So I want to um, open a window here. Um, we know that the number of accessible uh, states varies with energy as a E minus ground state energy to the power number of degrees of freedom and natural logarithm of omega varies as F natural logarithm E minus E zero. This is something we have done uh, many times before and therefore beta beta parameter which was 1 over Boltzmann constant times temperature 1 over the thermal energy is derivative of natural logarithm of omega with respect to energy which varies as f over e minus e0 and at equilibrium this would be uh, e bar minus e0 so kt is basically the mean energy above the ground state energy per degree of freedom at equilibrium. So this was an important conclusion for absolute temperature. So one of the properties of absolute temperature is its meaning, microscopic meaning, is mean energy above ground state energy per degree of freedom. Now I want to uh, look at what this means if you have the mean energy equal to the ground state energy uh, that would imply the temperature should be going to zero and therefore the temperature is equal to zero Kelvin at ground state because of this a variation it's e bar minus e0 divided by fk is the temperature 
so we have the minimum temperature is at ground state the maximum temperature of an object has uh, no limit uh, what is the maximum temperature we know of for example 10 to 7 uh, Kelvin is reported in uh, neutron stars neutron star measurements now what this means in terms of entropy if E bar is very close to E0 almost uh, at the ground state then we have the number of accessible states approaches uh, a value omega zero and this omega zero is of the order of one because if it's non-degenerate it's going to be exactly equal to one if it's degenerate it will be a small constant value it's either one or a very small number of accessible states Nevertheless, it's a small number. So if you look at entropy, entropy is uh, Boltzmann constant times natural logarithm of omega. And if omega approaches 1, natural logarithm of omega approaches 0. So we can state that as the absolute temperature approaches 0 Kelvin, the entropy approaches uh, 0. So you have at very low temperatures a very low entropy as well. So this is known as the third law of thermodynamics. So it has to do with the temperature dependence of entropy. Now I want to give two remarks here. The first remark is that if you have uh, the temperature approaching uh, the absolute temperature 0 Kelvin approaching uh, the absolute zero point the relaxation time to reach equilibrium relaxation time tau sub r can be quite large so it may take a very long time to reach a thermal equilibrium so it may take a long time to reach equilibrium. So in terms of experimental measurements, this would be uh, one concern. The other one is the second remark. If you look at uh, nuclear magnetic moments, nuclear magnetic moments they are very small they are so small that for temperature less than micro Kelvin 10 to minus 6 Kelvin is necessary in order to go to a non-random orientation for a non-random orientation therefore uh, if you look at a uh, more readily available temperature millikelvins 10 to minus 3 kelvins this can be easily achieved using adiabatic demagnetization technique uh, for example the entropy does not go to zero but it goes to a small value s0 uh, so we can say that at temperature as temperature approaches zero it's at zero plus millikelvin scale for example we have a modified version of the third law entropy goes to a small number s0 so experimentally we find that we cannot really achieve absolute zero kelvin so entropy uh, practically goes to a very small value s0 but uh, this value s0 is a definite constant which is independent of energy levels of the system
and it only depends on the types of atoms so you, you can say this is a modified third law of thermodynamics or it's more practical anyway if you have a degenerate system you would get um, if you have more more than one accessible states corresponding to the uh, ground state energy you would get an entropy value that is non-zero finite but very very small still okay so basically we talked about uh, a few important temperatures in the Kelvin scale boiling point of helium 4.2 Kelvin hydrogen 2.20.3 Kelvin nitrogen 77 Kelvin room temperature corresponds to 295 Kelvin human body temperature 310 Kelvin uh, the record boiling point of elements for, is for tungsten 5800 Kelvin and for uh, a reference surface temperature of the Sun is 5500 Kelvin uh, these values except for the surface temperature of the Sun are all reported at one atmospheric pressure uh, the number of accessible states dependence on energy was E minus E0 to the power number of degrees of freedom and we found that that means the thermal energy means mean energy about the ground state energy per degree of freedom at equilibrium and as the temperature approaches zero that means the absolute temperature at the, the mean energy approaches the ground state energy uh, or we have the number of accessible states becoming very very small and there is no limit for maximum temperature the, the highest we know of is 10 to 7 Kelvin in neutron stars and if Omega becomes 1 exactly 1 entropy approaches 0 that's the third law of thermodynamics however experimentally this could be very difficult to achieve because as the temperature goes so low the relaxation time becomes very high so it may take a long time to reach equilibrium and for more practical purposes if you look at for example nuclear magnetic moments they're so small even a temperature of micro Kelvin is not enough to say you're close to the, the zero Kelvin so you need to go below micro Kelvins in order to get a non-random orientation for a more practical temperature like milli Kelvin scale that can be achieved in the labs we find that the entropy approaches for most systems a constant value as zero that is independent of the energy levels of the system but only depends on the types of atoms.